Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year. It's uh, January 1st, 2022. I uh, figured I'd make a fairly quick updated toolbox tour video. Uh, this here is just my tool cart. Um, this is going to be a lot quicker than the other toolbox tour video I did a few years ago because got a lot more stuff and it's not super organized right now, but it's it's what I use every day and I know where stuff's at, so... But anyway, here's my tool cart. Like I said, this is the stuff I use most often. That's why it's on the tool cart. Um, various impact wrenches, um, electric and air, brake caliper tools, torque wrenches, hammers, basic stuff. It's on the cart. Use it all the time. On the sides, we got some sprays, penetrating fluid, brake clean, stuff like that. Got some more up there. Oh, different lights. A bunch of uh, nut uh, magnetic nut holders, nuts and bolts, oil filter wrenches. This is actually a caliper hanging hook, which I've got more of over here. Uh, let's see, let's start with the bottom drawer. I actually switched over to a lot of Milwaukee stuff too recently, and I'm liking it so far. Um, a lot of this stuff self explanatory. You can see what it is. These, uh, this set here I actually 3d printed this holder it's kind of neat 3d printed this I don't remember if this was in my last toolbox tour video or not but these are just different adapters go from different size drives they're Cornwell <clears throat> yeah you can see basically what everything is this is a set of sockets for those uh, the other ones up here right now but um, yeah, they're sockets for the swollen lug nuts, the rusted lug nuts. Just a drill, 3 8 impact, quarter inch drive jobby, some mirrors, random file, magnets, so on and so forth. Next drawer. More air tools, all my extensions. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, here we got the uh, different grits of sanding discs, a long gasket tool, die grinders, die grinders, air air ratchet, which I hardly ever use this thing, um, tools for doing electrical type work, crimpers and strippers, and there's hose cutters down here. Uh, different gasket removal tools, and there's some tweezers down in here. And, Biscuits for cleaning gas, all kinds of stuff. Scotch bright wheels, just odds and ends, tape measure, oil filter wrench, tape, step drills, all kinds of stuff. Like I say, it's not super organized, but it's in there. I don't have to go far to get it, I know where it's at. Adjustable wrenches, gasket scraper, there's another one right now, it's actually in the parts washer. Uh, long extension. Medium sized, what I call medium sized pry bar, huge half inch ratchet, gear wrenches, scrapers, paint markers, and markers for my uh, whiteboard. That's about it for that drawer. Top drawer. I use this quite a bit. This is pretty sweet. This is a Milwaukee impact type wrench. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is, I had one before, but it was not an impact. It wasn't very good. It was Milwaukee, but it kind of sucked to say the least. This thing, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, is there a number on here? Yeah, there's the information on it. But yeah, like I say, this is, this is pretty nice. This works pretty well. It'll break stuff loose and keep going. But over here, air tool oil, another marker, some wire brushes, Allen wrenches. Pocket screwdrivers, a set of Torx bits, Phillips and flat, a big flat, quarter inch. This is all, also this is all metric crap, of course, because nothing's standard anymore. But yeah, metrics all around. I keep this stuff out because it's pretty common to run into swollen lug nuts. And these here, we do a lot of cop cars, and this is the two sizes that gets the front brakes done. Um, these over here are 3 8 drive swivel sockets, these are 
half inch drive deep wells. These are three eighths drive deep wells. These are impact three eighths drive deep wells. Uh, some clip tools, punches. Always keep a 90 degree pickup here, short pry bar. Various pliers, mini bolt cutters, a pair of needle nose vice grips down there, and regular pliers. Different ratchets. We've got one half inch drive up here, the rest are three eighths and a quarter inch. That's pretty much it for the tool cart. I mean, of course, there's a can of brake clean and some grease, magnets up here, safety glasses. Oh, this is the only standard stuff I have on my cart. <laughs> It's a deep well, standard, once in a while. You run into like a quarter inch hose clamp or something like that, but once in a while I use them, so. Anyway, like I say, that's the tool cart. Now I'll move on to the box. This is my newest purchase, I believe, for Milwaukee stuff, this light. It's awesome. It's actually, a, what do they call it, an under, under lift or under body? Yeah, under body light. This thing is pretty cool. The magnets are right there. And they are strong. Um, yeah, anyway, that we have a, a lift that has diamond plate patterning on it. And it sticks to that with no problem. And I've bumped it. It doesn't fall off. But it flexes this way. It turns up here. Turns down. Well, it, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. Pivots like that. It also turns down there. It's pretty darn sweet. Uses that type of battery. And it makes the... Uh, daylight type light it's not like a terribly crazy bright led type light it, it's bright don't get me wrong but it's not obnoxious anyway and there's another milwaukee light if they would have had this one out before this one i would have bought that one only but that's handy too um laptop you know calculator little torch sandpaper anyway into the drawers this is the worst drawer <laughs> Because I need more toolboxes, but I don't want to spend the money. But anyway, um, extra sets of safety glasses. That was a homemade jobby, I believe, of some sort. Or was that... Oh, no, that's just an oxygen sensor socket. Um, Allen bits. This is a flashlight that does uh, ultraviolet light. This was for a starter job or a water pump job. It was some kind of diesel. I forget. Was it a Duramax? I think it might have been a Duramax. There's another piece of it down in there somewhere. Um, these are just random sized large sockets that I don't have a good place for. Some 12 points and 6 points and stuff. Uh, stud extraction set. I think these are some, yeah, these are some quarter inch drive standard sockets. These are the uh, Torx Plus sockets, spiral extractors, half-inch drive, uh, I think they're metric too, yeah, they're metric half-inch drive, shallows, I'm sure I'll misspeak in this video at some point, you guys are going to be like, oh, you dumbass, you said the wrong thing, anyway, um, impact, Torx bits, they're kind of, they're, they're Napa's knockoff brand, they're okay, <laughs> I barely ever use them. There's some uh, hex bits. What are these? External torques. Yellow glasses for checking leaks. More spiral sockets. Mostly for lug nuts that are completely rounded off. Uh, long Allen bits with the ball ends. I got standard and metric in those. Three H drive swivel sockets. External torques. These are semi deep quarter inch drive. This is a set of triple squares, quarter inch drive swivel sockets, uh, bearing pullers, glow guns, hemp gun, more glasses. This is a tie rod tool. Uh, O2 socket. This is a valve spring compressor, I believe, for a 37 Chrysler, if I remember correctly. Uh, spark plug. Now, yes. What is this? 
specialty spark plug socket, I believe. Those two things. More spark plug sockets. These are like semi deep half inch drive sockets that came free with something. A set of spiral extractors and quarter inch drive that are super handy. Uh, tap drivers, knife sharpening, some 12 point sockets hidden in there. Serpentine tools, extra pro paint or a butane. And somebody's messaging me. No, that's Facebook. A uh, pair of scissors. Uh, oil filter socket set. This is for um, some of the Ford, like the edges, I believe. Oil filter sockets, more valve spring compressors, Honda tool for the holding the crank still. It's another O2 socket. All kinds of stuff. I got my lav scope back here, and my scan tool is apparently in a vehicle. Uh, let's see, under the scope we have half inch drive swivels, standard metric. There's some more stuff I didn't go over, just more extraction tools. This is a handy set. Right there is just another set of Torx bits. All sorts of fun stuff in there. That's pretty much it for the top drawers. Surely something in there I missed, but Trying to go fairly quick. I gotta get actually back home here. All right, drawer number two. Wrenches, wrenches, wrenches. Wrench extenders. <laughs> Disconnect tools, air tools, half inch extensions, flex head gear wrenches, disconnects, brake tools. Gonna have to speed this up a little bit. Screwdrivers. Little micro screwdrivers. Uh, there's like Torx. What do we got? Torx and uh, precision screwdriver set. So Phillips and flat and then a Torx set. Uh, T handle Torx bits. Screwdriver, screwdrivers, impact screwdriver. Pliers. Snap ring set. There's also snap ring pliers in there in bigger sizes, but. <clears throat> Picks, pickle forks, scrapers, tire spoons, pry bars, seal pullers, precision straight edge. That comes in handy once in a while. This is a serpentine belt installer, assistant, extra hand. <laughs> test lights, stethoscope, homemade test lights for higher load and this drawer is also a mess drill bits heat guns axle sockets clutch alignment tools angle gauge for head bolts compression tester there's some pullers down in there battery powered soldering iron little air powered saw breakout box timing tools <clears throat> like I say, this is going to be a quicker. I'm not even taking everything out of here. This is pretty much the same as before, I believe. Amp clamp, uh, broken plug toolkit. This is a bunch of spark plug sockets. It's kind of a neat set. Harmonic balancer, installer. Don't want to take everything out of there. There's a harmonic balancer cooler, cooling system tester, soldering tool. Uh, that's a that red kit down there is a leak down tester. Another amp clamp. This is a fuel injector actuator. This is an awesome set. That is a bunch of different test leads. If I had two hands, I'd open it up and show you, but this is all wiring related test equipment. Um, this is a terminal kit. <clears throat> Punches, chisels, air tools, thread files, mini files, quarters for the soda machine, and a random 9mm bullet. Hmm. That was already in that drawer. I think that's it for the toolbox. Alright. Um, big stuff back here. Actually on the side I do have a power probe. Extension for the power probe. Uh, axle nut sockets. 
There's actually a smaller one of these in that bottom drawer somewhere. This is Snap-on's newer version of their Pitman arm puller. They're pretty sweet. Gets you into a smaller area than before. Uh, got some chains and so forth in there, as you can see. Uh, let's see. Slide hammer kit down here. Bigger slide hammer for it. This is a new power steering puller. This is a vacuum slash pressure gauge. Back here is a plastic plastic riveter. Sometimes you need them to put inner fenders back in. This is a cheap exhaust kit. Expander and cutter. I don't even know why I still have that here. I bought a better one finally, but it's still here. What's this? Matco tools, transmission. Oh, this is a pressure. So much stuff on top. Pressure tester. You can check, make sure your oil pressure is okay and transmissions and engines. This is a snap on, oh well, Blue Point. Blue Point uh, exhaust expander. This doesn't get used often. Timing light. This is a seal installer kit. Ball joint press. And this is the... Uh, I better watch what I'm filming here. I think I'm missing half the stuff. This is the pneumatic tool kit for taking fan clutches off. This is a big kit. I think this is the hub grappler. They call it the hub grappler. It's upside down. I'm not getting that out because it is super freaking heavy. These are two valve spring compressor tools, some printer paper and underneath, which like I say, I still have one hand. That's a fuel pressure test kit. Extra adapters for the ball joint press. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's some other stuff here. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a thermal image camera. Just got that recently. That's pretty sweet. All right, well, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Sorry I haven't made a video for quite a while because um, I was actually in the hospital back in September. I had COVID pretty bad, but uh, I'm back at it, back at work. Things have been going pretty good. Um, yeah, hopefully I get back into making some more videos for you. Just wanted to do a quick toolbox update. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. See you.